Hello Art Beaters, Becky here and I'm here to answer the question, what is a head pin? What is an eye pin? I've got a quick video to help you uh, discern the difference and see how to use these handy dandy little components in your jewelry designs. So let's dive in. Head pins are lengths of wire that end in a head or a ball. You can get ball end head pins. And what that does is it stops the bead from falling off your wire and you can use this head pin to create dangles in your jewelry. They work really well for earrings if you want to make chandelier dangles. These are all head pins that are keeping the beads in place as a dangle. Um, you can also use them in necklaces if you want to create your own pendants or charms for bracelets or necklaces. Head pins work really well for that, so you can see that these little dangles are on head pins. To use a head pin as a dangle, you're going to want to add a bead or beads that you want to use and then finish the top of the wire with some form of loop. You can make a simple loop and we have lots of instructions how to do that. So you'll start with your chain nose pliers and make a bend in the wire and then switch to round nose pliers that have round noses and then fold your wire over the nose of the round nose pliers and then under to create a loop and then trim your wire. And I like to give my loop a little wiggle so it's nice and secure. So that's how you finish a head pin with a simple loop. You can also finish your head pin by making a wrapped loop. So for that, you're gonna take your chain nose pliers, fold the wire over your chain nose pliers at a right angle, then pick up your round nose pliers, fold it over like you did for the simple loop, get those out of the way and complete the loop. And instead of being done there, we're gonna take our chain nose pliers and coil this wire around the stem of the head pin down to the bead. So it makes it really nice and tight wrap or dangle. There you go. And then you're gonna trim any excess wire on your wrapped loop as close as you can. Be sure to protect your eyes because sometimes those wires can go flying. I like to give my little end a little tuck and you've got a nice wrapped loop for a head pin dangle. So that's what a head pin is, and I can't wait to see how you use it in your jewelry. An eye pin is a length of wire that ends in a simple loop or an eye. This is great for creating beaded links to use in your wire, to use in your jewelry. So let's say you're making an earring that you want to focus a charm, but you also want to add some beads. You can use an eye pin to create a beaded dangle to attach your charm to your ear wire. You can also use eye pins to make beaded chain. This necklace was made using eye pins with different bead patterns all linked together to create a beautiful beaded chain. Um, it's also another great option for um, attaching a pendant to a necklace. For instance, in this necklace, I used an eye pin as a connector to the bail to the pendant, um, just because I wanted a little more length and color on this focal, so it would hang lower than these little flower dangles that I have. So I used an eye pin for that. Just a note for head pins on and eye pins, these do come in different wire gauges, anywhere from 18, 20 gauge to 24, 26, even 28 gauge. Now remember that the higher the number, the thinner the wire is. So 18 and 20 gauge is great for something sturdy if you're using uh, bigger beads with bigger stringing holes. 18 to 20 gauge is wonderful, especially if you want something really sturdy. Those thinner gauge head pins and eye pins, the 26 to 28 gauge, those are gonna be great if you need a little more flexibility if you're working with really small beads and you're just doing some finer work. So to use an eye pin, I often will make another simple loop on the other end of the bead or beads that I want to use just because it will match the eye of that eye pin nicely. So to finish an eye pin, you're just gonna make a simple loop. You can also make wrapped loops too. If you're making um, 
any kind of dangle, that's always an option. We also have lots of videos and photo instructions for making simple loops and wrapped loops at artbeads.com if you need further help. So there's my simple loop. I'm going to give it a little wiggle. Make sure it's nice and closed and secure. Now, if you're making a beaded chain, you're going to want to attach this to something. Even if you're using it as a beaded a link, you're going to have to open up that eye and attach it to your connection point. So if you're attaching it to another eye pin, you would just add the eye and then close it back up and make sure it's nice and secure so nothing slips out. And then you're ready to add this to your piece, put some more beads on here, make another simple loop and keep going. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Please let me know if you have any more questions on head pins and eye pins by leaving a comment below this video. We always love hearing from you. And as always, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you're the first to know when videos like this are out. Thank you so much and I will see you next time. Bye.